Hello everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. So I am just working on some more of these. Um, yes, what are they? <laughs> they are book page um, pieces of ephemera that we made in a challenge, the Test Treasure and Friends Facebook challenge. Um, was it this year? I don't even know if it was this year. It might have been, might have been the end of last year, actually. And um, yeah, I've, I've got a little packet of them and I'm trying to, to get them decorated to move them on. So um, I don't know why I've got more out because I've got enough here to be going on with. So let's let's do some work on, on these. So I found this, which was obviously, uh, you know, a pocket filler journal card. I obviously had some paper and made a start on it and didn't finish. So I've got, got a pile of papers here that I've had out for um, a couple of days. You'll have seen them in, in another video, I would think, um, a little while ago, maybe. So, so the colours go, purples and greens. Yeah, let's let's just put some of these on here and then decorate it, shall we? I think, I think it needs decorating because... Uh, where shall we go? Where shall we cut? What one did we say there? I think in this line here, is that big enough for all of them? No, that one must be bigger. So sort of halfway down that line, I'm going to try and put it with the scissors. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's a bit of a, a strange one, but I've started it and I don't want to... I obviously started it and put it away a long time ago. I don't want to not use it, so what I'm thinking is... If I if I finish it and embellish it at the same time, it you know it's a completely finished piece. It won't have to fit in with anything. Then it will be done. I'm wondering if this is what I did last time. That's why I had that three quarters of a of a piece left on the oops on the other side. It might be nice to leave. Um, which way does it? It might be nice to leave that one with the book page and just put some sort of an image on it. So we want a piece of this on here and a piece of this on here then. Does that make sense to you? So it, it's, it will then be a massive journaling. Um, what? It's not a spot, it's more than a spot. <laughs> flip out, would you call it a flip out? Maybe. So you can still see the book page behind it in places. Um, I'm going to put it on with Fabri-Tac because I'm having a bit of trouble with my uh, my art glitter coming out too quick at the moment. I still don't have the nozzle um, as of yet. I don't think it's going to arrive. I just haven't ordered another one. I need to get a refund from that and order another one. Just not enough hours in the day at the moment. So I am... You probably won't see this until I'm away on holiday, but I am, um, yeah, trying to trying to get packed and organised for holidays, and um, my legs are quite poorly. So hopefully by the time you see this video, I'll be better and enjoy my holidays. But for now, I'm having to not not do too much. So I'm trying to get a, a few videos done, but. You've probably realised by now you won't have one every day. Right, so what shall we have on the front of it? I'm thinking a bird. We haven't used the birds for ages, have we? Let's... Well, there's the florals. We'll get the florals out at the same time. Where are the birds? Butterflies. Oh, I took them out of there, didn't I? Because I wasn't using them so much. That wasn't a good... I don't think that was a good move, Denise. Because now I can't remember where I put them. Okay, let's... Uh... Let's put a floral on it, shall we? That's a good idea. Oh, you're just rose mad. Let, let's try something that's not a rose. And uh, something that's going to fill quite a bit of the, the front without... Oh, that's pretty. Will you fit? Oh, you will. Okay, decision made. It just needs a little, uh, a little label. Some wordy ones. What's that? Can't read it, it's too small. Date. Don't know what that says. 
but <laughs> I like the label. Where would it be nice? Down there, I think. Under or on top? No, on top. So um, I'm leaving the white on the on the cutout, on the fussy cut. Right, I'm going to go with this. Please be kind to me. Um, because I, I think next to that book page there, I maybe should have um, used me. Yeah, glue stick. Maybe that would have been the thing to do. Too late now. So I've gone with this. Yeah, I think it's a nice contrast against that. And I'm going to spread glue all over it, aren't I? Where is the cloth? <laughs> oh. Come on. Well, it won't come up, that's one thing. There's definitely enough glue there keeping it down. I'm a bit low at the bottom now as well. I wanted it a little bit higher than that, but never mind. So we might have to change where we put this. We could always put this up here. I did like it across there though. Or maybe that side will be fine and um Oops. Yeah, it's definitely lively that today. Yeah, I like that down there, but I feel like we might need something across the top. And I've just spotted a sitting there a piece of this. No, it doesn't really go, does it? So let me just have a dig. I could do with some lacy bits, really. Oh, I got some more of that. Oh, it's a bit more, more of a fancy edged piece. Maybe. I quite like this now I've seen it. Do I like a piece of that on it? Mm -hmm. Nope. I'd like some lace, I think. Um, why don't I have any lace here with me? I don't. That's terrible lace. Oh, just bear with me a minute. What have I got here? Some fabric snippets, but there might be. Oh, there is. I was going to say there might be some lace in the bottom of it, and there is. Hooray! It's just a big piece, but we can uh, we can alter a big piece, can't we? Yeah, I quite like that. Just fills some of that. Um, what would you call it? I was going to say white space, but it's not white. <laughs> I don't really want it to hang over, so let's let's make it shorter. Blank space, is that the word I was looking for, maybe? It's not a very big blank space, but it just looked a bit undecorated, didn't it? Yep, I think that's all it needs. So we've got the lovely purple inside and that behind. Um, I don't like that. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Maybe I was thinking I'll decorate it up with a label or something. But no, about another flower off or something. What colour did I go with the front blue? Let me just move them over so you can see what I'm looking at. So you can shout yes that one and then I won't hear you. <laughs> Pick a different one. I just love the roses. Stay away from the roses, Denise. Yeah, purple would be nice, wouldn't it? Because we've got purple on the other side. You're big, aren't you? Oh. Quite like that. Yes, of course you like that. <laughs> I just had to try it. I might just um, cut that. Is it lilac? I might just cut it down to fit. I think I will. Looking at all those in there. I think if I just... I don't want quite so much of the stalk. I'm wondering if I take that. Although it's balancing out the huge flower head isn't it oh, let's put it let's put it down with all the stalk on it's getting 
some of those white bits. I don't know why I did on this one and not the other, but I think it's because of this white, white page here. Oop. Come on. I can have all or nothing. I just want a little bit. Preferably on the edges. Or you could have that either way around now, couldn't you? That could be the front. Well, that could be the front. So it's actually a booklet, isn't it? It's a um, journal space booklet. Yeah, we've got that label and the lace on the front. Could really do with, yeah, that's a nice back. I think it could do with a, um, a tab of some description on it. And I'm wondering about fabric because lots of fabric here you know it would be softer because it, it's quite a soft got lots of blues oh I love this piece oops doesn't want a big piece don't think it'll rip but I'll give it a go you never know <laughs> that'll be a no then Kind of ripped now. Looks ripped. Yeah, it'd be nice with a stitch in it, but I think for now I will just I'll just glue it on and then I'm not sure the, the book page is strong enough to take. It's still a little bit big for the size of the the piece, I think. Yeah, it'll definitely open better with something there, right? Let's let's try and oh, it, it frays nice. It looks that's it. Looks like it's been ripped, not cut. That's better. I'm uh, trying to use up more of my uh, fabric scraps because they're they're getting a little out of hand, like the um, like the paper scraps were a good few months ago. So I need to start thinking about using them regular. And a few projects I've got a few in mind, but a couple in mind. I'm going to let that dry. I think a little bit, a bit, tiny bit of ink around it once it's dry will uh, will make all the the difference as well. Look how you're hiding everything with all your, your stuff you've got out. <laughs> um, you go on there. I'll sort you out later. Right, I was looking at this. This is very nearly done, actually. It's well, it's supposed to be that way. It's one piece and then it all pulled back to make it look like a frame. So, yeah, I'm just thinking there. A flower on there would be nice, wouldn't it? Then it would be a nice, too big... Um, Page decoration, that's nice. I like the way that comes over the front there as well. So I'm going to, now that I'm using it, take out that piece of white there, because I don't like it. I could just ink it, you know, if you're not good at going in and trimming bits out. Um, but it, I think it'd be nice to see the book page behind it. about that one yeah if we're doing it let's do it all out you come well most of it I won't get all of it but uh, yeah it'd be nice to see a little bit of the text behind there as well whoops just hang on mister I'm gonna glue you down in a minute oh there we go Yeah, that's it. Like you can barely see that. Right, all I need to do now is get this. I'm wondering if I should just do it on a piece of book page, and then I can kind of spread it around a bit if it if it goes wild on me. Come on, like that. <laughs> 
going to have gluey finger, but done up. Don't know what I've done to me cloth on my table there, my covering. It's all over the place, all lumpy bumpy. Ah, right, don't stick. <laughs> don't stick till I get you where I want you. Which was about there, wasn't it? We need to be touching, that's it. Sorry, have I pulled it a bit close to me? I think I've got my uh, my camera angle too far away from me. That seemed to be out of... Okay, that didn't go too badly, did it? I'm over to the right a little bit, but that all that's done has left me room, if I want it, for a label to the left. I don't think I'll put one on there because it will depend, you know, on the page that I'm putting it on. Because it could have a label, it could have stamps, it could have other um, pretties. Okay, so that's two. Oh, we're doing well. Um, it's just one of those double pockets. So, um, how far in there can I go? It won't go side to side, so I'm better. Shall we do a little bit of a collage? Some teeny tiny collage. What tiny bits have we got here? Here's some look. Here's some tiny scraps. Let's see how we get on. So the colours are not necessarily uh, what is this? Which is like you know the faux washi. That would be quite nice on there as a whole piece, wouldn't it? If I can, yeah, I can take the uh, divot out of it again. Or something like, I'm sorry, I'm hiccuping. <laughs> Just for a change. Is that the one you think we used? Right way up would be good. So, let's put a dot in the centre and see if I can get it anywhere near. I can barely see the centre myself. Try and get you a bit nearer. That's about there. And how deep? That's quite a bit out, doesn't it? Let's see. It's only paper, isn't it, if it doesn't work? So that's about the centre, I think. Oops. Gosh, my eyes. Don't know if it's the light. I can take the glasses off sometimes, yeah. I can see better without them sometimes. So it needs a little bit bigger, I think. I just, it's obviously not the same circle punch that I use because it just needs to be a bit wider there, but not deeper. Let's try that. That's okay. It's not as uniform as it would have been with a punch, but it's okay. So, I kind of need a bit round there. I mean, it is, it's got some natural distressing on it, so it's not too bad. But it's just going to show round that, that piece that I've cut. Reinforce the front pocket as well, won't it? I feel like I've got glue all over my hands. Um, whoops! Get back. What's going on there? You just it just felt a bit more wider at one. Yeah, it still does. Just need to come that way a bit. I'm getting gung ho with it now. That's better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Just looked a bit close on one side. Right. I'm just moving about between the two glues and neither of them are really doing it for me today. I have to say. But this one's probably going to be the better of the two. If it would stand up. <laughs> oh yeah, quite like that definitely giving it some interest so I could do with something a little plainer I think on the back one although it's got a plain piece here because that's 
that's a pocket and then that's the pocket and then that's a pocket so mm, let's have a look what we've got I'm wondering now if we're going to do it in something or one seeing as I managed to punch that out of there I think that will just about mind how far open are you at each side yeah so you'd only come in there let's cut a piece and see what have we got to lose see, we've got, see the book page both sides that's going to make quite a nice tag for in there actually isn't it <laughs> right don't lose that for goodness sake. I'm going to back it while I think about it and make it into a tag because that's what I do. <laughs> Just jump off at an angle. Some backing paper from somewhere. Quite big, isn't it? A piece of this will probably do. Get some of this glue off my fingers. This is quite lovely. I don't know if you can see it's sort of a paley pink, pinky colour on the back. Just glue that onto that. Let's get the, the glue stick in action. So it was a misprint, this piece, actually. Printed on both sides as well, but it printed the image out really small, unfortunately. But it, yeah, it's made good. It's made a good tag now. <laughs> good scrap paper, I was going to say. Oops, rattling everything. So I don't know what it was like height wise, I didn't take much notice. Width wise, it was the perfect tag, so. This is me all over, start off doing one thing <laughs> and I'm off, off at a tangent. Oh, I, wish, I wish I'd been a bit nearer. It's not dry yet, but you'll get an idea. It's very not dry. It worked out well, that peachy colour. And I've got another one of those. I've got thousands of those to use up. Right, what did I do with it? Right, it needs to be that way because the love heart goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah, it only just fits to me, so you might need to trim it. it right anyway. Now I'm wondering if to just leave the book page because you don't see it when that's in do you? Might make the, it might be the nice one for behind it actually because it's taller isn't it? This is from Nanine's uh, collage type. Um, what kit was it? I think it's envelopes, old envelopes kit. Anyway, if you go onto uh, her site, you'll be able to find it, no problem. It's just got lots and lots and lots of envelopes, fronts and backs. And I think a backing page or a collage page or something. Yeah, I'm going to leave that just like that. That's a nice piece. That's going to be clipped on because that's going behind. It, it needs a piece in there as well, doesn't it? Um, let's see what size we're at. Oh! And it's not a... It's not a tag, but if I can just get the base and put it in. It's hiding that, so it needs to be a lot smaller. Use that cutting line. Perhaps even a tad more. 
So that can now be used as a base to make a tag for that. I mean, it could be the tag, actually. It's, <laughs> it's now got nothing on it, but an Edith Holden uh, picture has it. With that behind, well, that will stiffen out as it dries. Let's just ink that then. I quite like that as a piece. So it needed less than I, I was thinking. Yeah, I'll just get a, a paper clip and clip that on. Okay, so that's that's three pieces. We'll just do a couple more. So it's two days later now, <laughs> in a flash of an eye. But um, yeah, those ones we've just finished making. I'm going to make two more, and I pulled two more fairly easy ones um, out to do. So yeah, my legs were my legs are playing up. So um, yeah, I stopped the camera and I gave them a rest. And I didn't I didn't come back for a couple of days. But um, here we go. So. In the meantime, look, my, my glue tip has come and I've um, I've cut the top off my glue. I don't know if you're supposed to, the top off the lid of the glue. Oh no, it's pulling that off with it. Oh yeah, that's right, it's holding it on. And then I put it on top of that tip and I'm just using this. And I think that's going to hold it on better, we'll see anyway. Right, let's get on because, you know, time. What do they say, time and tide waits for no man? So this one is just a simple, um, what is it, it's like, um, is it a bag or an envelope or a pocket? Oh, lots of the above and um, yeah, I think I'm just going to put something in the front, perhaps something in the back there. No, I'm going to put something on the back just to make it a bit stronger and I'm just going to put a few bits on the front and leave some of this, oh maybe not. I think it's about war and things it is, yeah. Perhaps I won't. Perhaps I'll collage most of the front. Um, so, yeah, some of the scraps here are different, I would think, <laughs> to what I had out a couple of days ago. Some of them will be the same. Um, I've got all the ones here that I made in a previous um, video as well. And a lot of them have got this pink, pink and green going on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use some of that again, I think, on this. So I've got a piece of that. I've got a nice piece of green here. And this lovely piece of writing so let's move that out of the way i never know which way up i like these we'll go in this corner i think here i'm just going to sort of yeah make life easy for myself and not not try to create straight lines i think um, i'm happy for the the book the book page to shine through so it is now only a day before we go on holiday. So yeah, this is a this is a last minute. Um, I'll be away, no doubt, by the time you see this. So it's a last minute video or finish of a video. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of collage, but just as I go. So let's put each piece down as I as I do it, and then see what we end up with. I think just with some collage and a nice label on the front this will be a lovely piece so yeah I can see I can show part of the book there look and you can, there's no whole words so you just know it's book page without um do I want all of that I'm covering all my roses if I just leave this one showing here then maybe yep um So yeah, I've currently got all my uh, my packing out on my bed here. I just need to uh, bring the cases through and start filling them, which will be my my job when I finish this video off. And I, have, I do still have a video to do yet, but um, yeah, as you know, I'm not sitting long, so that won't be happening for well, maybe in a couple of hours. I'll see see how I go. Okay, so what do I want across the top? I've got the green out, but I'm not feeling it on there. I don't know where this has come from. This is from a no happy mail, I think. Um, I really want something quite random. Oh, that's the sort of thing most people would throw away, isn't it? Right. Just see how much. Yeah, there's still too much of it. That, those words 
coming through. Oh. Just bear with me while I audition a few bits. <laughs> Sciences. <laughs> Good word. Ouch. <laughs> fingers. Pull your fingers in. I've still got some of this washi that I put on that other one earlier. Some of that might be nice. Let's see. It really depends on if it's going to cover the, you know, the writing enough so that you can't actually tell what's what's written. Quite like that. Yes, like that. Okay. So it just needs something, you know, probably a... Oh, what is it with me and words the minute I turn this camera on? Probably a label. I think would be best. So, yeah, we can still see the words, but I want something in there. Um, because if apart from anything else, it wants um, to be thickened up, as it were. What's the word? Strengthened. Oh, it's not cut level because it's lower this side than that. I'll try and level it up a little bit because when I don't suppose I can bend it now it's far too but it's definitely lower there I tried to put something in that's better still not quite I don't know what I'm cutting off the front oh, nothing much nothing too essential that's better. That fits more level now when I put something in. Okay, let's ink it back again. Oh, but you know, that's not in the middle now, is it? So, I'm going to cut that off as well. Can't cope with it there. <laughs> that's a definite no. So, shall I put another one in? Go on, Denise. Put another one in. So the central one, though. Ish. Always ish. <laughs> Never dead centre for me. That's better. Now oh, you see, these things can always be fixed. Um, yeah, I was just putting something in the back of there, wasn't I? Really, it's more... Do I like that there? It's only going to be a tiny bit of it on the show, isn't it? What was I going to say? It's Yeah, it's more for the strengthening than anything. I don't dislike what you can see because it's mainly just blank book page. So I'll just stick it in like that and then I'll be able to just cut. Oops. Started to stick, so I had to put it down quick. Okay, don't you stick down. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're the bit I wanted to. Do you know what? I'd be dangerous if I was on my game. Don't you stick down. The bit that I needed sticking. <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes don't stick shut is what I was meaning, isn't it? That's it. Just cut round that. Let's have some bigger scissors. Put them away. Oops. There we go. Just wondering if I like it stood up that little bit bigger at the back. Whoops. Oh, put your pin in that, Denise. I think I do, you know. I think I like it that bit bigger at the back. I'll just put a little bit of a washi or something on it just to make sure it's it's uh, secure. Well, just a bit of that mic pole would do, wouldn't it? It's a, bit, a little bit thicker than any washi I've got. I've, no, I've not got any thick washi, I must. I must put it on me to get list. <laughs> That's it. So it's, it's kind of stuck front and back now. And it's quite thick paper, that one, so it doesn't need reinforcing like this one did. Should have maybe reinforced that front one, but never mind. And behind there. No, it's okay. Let's. Oh, don't throw that away. 
get rid of some of these little bits. Right, Denise, one more, one more to go, and then we've done our five that we set off for. But it's it's a bigish one, this. But it is just a lovely. Um, is it four, four layers? So I really just want um, some slices across it. Do you know what I mean by slices? Let's have a look at this. Oh, what have I got attached to me? <laughs> Two pairs of scissors at once. Denise scissor hands. <laughs> there you go. Oops. Well, I'm saying oops a lot today, aren't I? I want it a bit, a bit rough and ready. Yeah, I like that. I don't know how long I've been saying I need a new dobber pad on here, but things are getting a little bit difficult now. I'm just going to fold it over and get that middle one. It's supposed to be two pieces of washer you see. Let me cut them out but I haven't. I like them together. Yep that's good. Same same thing applies. You can see the words but can't tell, tell what they are. That one was only go always going to be the easy one wasn't it because I don't have to fit under the flap of anything. So But at least we've got a start for our colours and such such like. And just it might take me a few minutes to get the pin in each time, but I'm, uh, I'm bringing this lot in. Which is something I've got out for a different video, which you may already have seen by now. I'm just wondering if these if there's anything here that's big enough. You're a bit too big, but you could be. No, I don't think you could. That one could be cut down, couldn't it? It's got the blue as a stamp as well, so let's... Oops. I don't want it too low because I want to be able to see the birds, but I think that one will be big enough to get the birds in. We won't have the Eiffel Tower in, but... Right, let's be a bit cleverer with the measuring, <laughs> you think? and across sort of there I think where did I throw that bit there nice collagey bits though so yeah I'm going to be able to do the same again so if I pop that in there so you can just see like half a sentence or the end the end of a word at the at the you know end of the Yeah, I like that. Um, shall I use this again? Will I be able to get it in the right place? Let's risk it, shall we? And see, because it's nice quick glue. Oops. So I've really enjoyed using up these um, book page pieces. I will probably finish the rest off camera, but you will see them going into the journals. Oh yeah, that worked quite well. That is a gusseted piece, I think. Are you gusseted? They are, so that's going to make filling them that bit easier. So yeah, it's time I went back and looked in the in the playlist actually at all the all the ones I made. And um make some more because I've really enjoyed decorating them. So that one, are you gusseted? A, a little bit, they're not gusseted a lot, but yeah. That's definitely making life easy. So I'm thinking something plainish then in here. Yeah, you might be good. So let's if we do you the same size as that one, lengthwise. Changed my mind. Look, is it wide enough though? Yeah. Okay. Seems it's a nice big piece. We might as well utilise it in one of the big pockets, haven't we? I suppose what I'll need to do next is come back and make them, um, or not make ne necessarily, but find. Yeah, I like that. Um, tags for them all. Or pocket fillers of some description because um, I don't always use tags now I often you know use 
interesting pieces of paper, book page, that sort of thing. Oops, I just didn't want to read those words up top. That's going to go down onto the page, so. Hopefully that was a nice quick one, just just this one in here again. I th again, I think I want something plain. Um, how well am I doing today? I don't know why I'm looking for something else. I think it it just felt too easy, but let's not uh, let's not knock it. <laughs> let's do easy. Okay. Yeah, it does fit just. Well, well impressed with that. And we see my glue's, my glue's um, pinless again. Although it, it's, it should be fine, shouldn't it, really, for a little amount of time. I suppose if I... Oh, that came off. I was hoping that would keep it on. It was doing until I pulled it off just then, so yeah, I was going to say if I oh, if I keep cleaning the um the nozzle, it should be okay if I leave in the, the pin off just while I'm crafting. Now this is a piece of um, the new collab kit between Tanya at Tetra Treasure and Nanine at Collage Type, which um has only just been released today, I believe, but by the time you see this video it will be out there. Actually, I think... Oh, no, 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 don't stick. I'm not ready. I think Tanya did a flip through, actually, yesterday. Oh, put glue on there. You mucky pup. Good job it was a distressed piece. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tanya did a flip through yesterday, so it has been... So it will be in the shop. <laughs> so it's out there to be seen. They actually look like tags in there, don't they? Before we put tags in. Might need plainer tags in. Love that. Okay, so let's look at what we made um, today. Space, please. Move on down. Uh, so we've just done that one and that one. And in today's video, although it wasn't today for me, that one, that one, and that one. Oops. And there we go. My in view, yep. Yeah. Uh, the other day, it shouldn't be too long ago, it might be in a week ago uh, for you. Move you over. We did these ones. And then I think off camera, I don't know, I think off camera I did these ones. So, yeah, there's lots more, lots more to come. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy putting them into, into the journals, which were today's then. That one, that one, was it that one? Yeah, okay, thumbs up would be lovely. Um, hope you're all having a, a good week. And yeah, pop back and see me probably the day after tomorrow and I'll be home soon. Okay, bye for now.